Alright y'all, so I just watch, got through watching last night's episode of Love & Hip Hop. And all I'm going to say is Love & Hip Hop, y'all got it going on. I don't know what's going on. Listen, the shit don't just got all over the place. Like, it's too many characters. Too many, oh, 2017 trying to come for me. Too many characters. Too many storylines. Too many B, B characters. Too many residual old characters. Not enough real drama. I don't know. It, it's losing its footing. Love and Hip Hop New York is losing its footing. And like I, I hate it because in the very screen, grand scheme of the game, Love and Hip Hop, VH1, Stephanie Gale, Mona, Stephan, all of those people, they have changed the game when it comes to reality TV and they will forever go down the history for that. But the shit is just getting whack. You know, I mean, let me stop being modest. The shit big got whack. And, and I, I'm rooting. Y'all know in all my existence, I've never went in for Love & Hip Hop New York. I was always Love & Hip Hop Atlanta. And I made a conscious choice this time around to try these girls out and rock with them and roll with them. But it's like at this point, y'all are trying to squeeze blood from a turnip. Y'all are milking the hell out of Yandy and these baby mamas. And we all know at the very end of the day, Yandy's a businesswoman. She got a whole lot to lose and she ain't really finna go there with them girls. Okay, that shit is stale and old. Then you got Jungle Fever Dairy Queen over there with their relationship. That's crazy. Young B, uh, she need to go back to selling chicken noodle soup with a soda on the side. Cardi B ain't nowhere to be found. Mariah Lynn, blow up, her acting is about as bad as Mariah Carey. Then, um, let's just get into this episode. What about your friends? Are they going to stand around? Listen. Girl with that long chin and that list with friends like you who the fuck need enemies. You done left the confines of your friendship in your house to meet with Yandy to tell all your friend business just so you can get $5.99 worth of fame. It's a goddamn shame. Don't tell all this lady business out her house. Record a conversation. That's some low down ass shit. To record a conversation with your friend and go back and give it to her enemy. And you claim you make it all right in your mind because you said she was turning on you and you was trying to make it about the child. If it was all about the child, you'd call Child Protective Services, Services. Child Protective Services and not Yandy Smith. What the fuck Yandy gonna do about the child? That ain't hers. That she ain't got no paper song. That she ain't even got no legal access to because she ain't even the daddy wife. And even if she was, that still ain't her, that child mama. I guess we could talk about the main event, which was Snoop and that loudmouth, drunk ass, ghetto ass girl. Her voice annoys the living shit out of me. I swear it makes my ass throb. She's got that Sinai Lathan pitch in her voice. And I've said this before, they look alike. Her drunk, jealous ass need to go back to Chicago. Let me ask you a question. Girl, where the fuck is your child? Okay? I just don't understand. How people have this much time to be in love and in hate and make up the breakup and it's children involved in the equation. It would seem to me that you wouldn't even have that much emotion to give Snoop because you were so busy loving your child. The only thing you should have for Snoop is residual emotion. And a residual emotion should only be gas enough for you to be like, oh, okay, deuces. Not all that hollering and carrying on. And you could not have possibly thought... Cutting up at this girl record label premiere showcase thing was okay the way you was doing. Go best friend! Go best friend! You better! And that was so lame and so like three years ago. Like, <laughs> cause my best friend friend of, she friend of, yes, you better throw that ass in a circle. That shit still go off sometimes though when you do it like me, how I just did it. Because my best friend, Frenna, she Frenna, not how you was doing. Yes, best friend, you better. Like, yeah. I'm trying to think, though. Um, I think we got a real moment out of Cisco and Peter. It started out fake 
with the, the the prologue. Okay, we gotta film a ten minute scene. How are we gonna do this? We gonna stand up over each other on the Range Rover and fuss or whatever. But you know, I think it did get a little real about you not knowing what I'm going through. I'm losing my mom, and I feel like what more can I lose, and what else do I have to live for? We all know I lost my mom around this time last year. Um, and those are some real emotions. Like when you, the rug gets snatched from up under your feet like that, you do act out and do crazy things and, and things that are detrimental to yourself and your health because you really feel like you feel so down. You just feel like I, I, I might as well just be fucked up because it can't get no worse. And I can't feel any worse than I feel now. So, you know, I almost, you know, shed a tear, but I'm going to tell you what was also special in that moment. You know, in 2016, 2017, I'm sorry, it is important that we see men, strong men of color, embrace one another and show affection to one another without fear of backlash of being called gay or gay shaming. Like, what the world needs now is love. Love, oh love, and what black America needs now is love. And moreover, what black men need now is love. And it starts with love from one another. Like, if we can't love each other as black men, we can't expect our women to love us, and we damn sure can't expect the outside world to love us. So, I, I, you know, and it's funny how the real scenes always translate through the TV. I felt the warmth when they embraced and they shook the shit that was going on. Now, I'm going to tell you something, Cisco. Work ain't honest, and these days, the shit ain't paying the bills. $10,000 is a lot of goddamn money. And quiet as it's kept, honey, y'all don't look like y'all was just getting $10,000 a day before this show came along. I didn't even think Peter Guns could book for ten grand. So, bitch, maybe I need to hurry up and get my ass on Love & Hip Hop, because all they booking me for right now is $2,500. I thought I was... Doing the damn thing, but shit, I just realized I'm two checks away from standing in the child line. <laughs> okay, Lord, love and hip hop. You know, I vowed I would be consistent, and I've been doing the videos thus far. Yeah, but y'all, I'm gonna be real with you. I just don't know how much longer I can hold on. Like the shit is starting to become cumbersome to watch and feel more like a chore. So I hope somewhere in here they can pick things up. But um. That's all I got, ain't got no more. And I'm finna get out of here and work on some of this other stuff, though. Talk to y'all later. Bye.